Okay guys, so here it is. First first real ride today. So we got the camera set up on it, which is excellent. And we are going to take it for a quick ride this morning. And uh, not really quick. We're doing the guide dogs for the blind charity ride today. You will see that I've already added some stuff. I got a little pro grip put on the tank here, which is good. And I got my uh, cell phone mount so my quad lock is there I put this extension just to see if it helps I do actually have a new windshield ordered already so that should be coming in soon it's already dirty because the ride home from the dealership was uh, rainy so let's go for a ride and tell you what we think of it shall we yeah all right All right, guys, so we are on the new Kawasaki Versus. Well, it's new to me. It's 2018 in the matte green, which is really what drew my attention to it. And if you look back there real fast, you can see my old Suzuki V-Strom 1000, which I'm coming from. So this bike definitely less power than that, but things like fuel economy and my insurance. Fuel economy is going to up huge and my insurance actually went down from a 2002 to a 2018 because of course the CC's dropped which was excellent and Mary's been a while on her bike it's been a while oh I'll get out of your way hold on here she's coming here she's coming All right, we're off. So this is not gonna be like a crazy review video or anything like that. This is just really a, kind of like a first a first ride. And it's not my first ride, it's my second ride because I rode home from the dealership, which was about an hour and a half away. So I've put on about 120-ish kilometers already which is great and you know first thing I did notice of course coming from a, a 1000 is that she definitely doesn't have as much grunt or get up and go when you're at highway speed as my 1000 did by any means but not to say that she's lacking because she's not you know she just definitely revs higher for sure so I gotta get used to watching her rev at, you know, 5,000 RPMs versus my Suzuki, which definitely didn't rev quite like that, unless I was really punching it. This one though, it's got, it's got a nice outer set. This bike though has a nice sound, I don't know if you can hear that. So I'm in fourth right now doing about 80, ready? So she definitely gets her little bit of pull, I guess. Once you break that 4,000, you know. Hold on. Oh, it must be going to... We're going for breakfast. That's what we're doing. I forgot we're going for breakfast. Breakfast before we go for a ride today. Which is, which is also super good. Who doesn't like a good breakfast? So... But a few things, like I said, that I had to add, and I added, I added this right here. So this is a X screen, I guess. I had this on my V-Strom as well, and I had a V-Strom. My V-Strom actually had a touring windshield and this on it to help keep the wind. Because as you can see, when I'm sitting upright, it's still a little low. I don't know, right? It's supposed to be up at eye level, so it should be up another, uh, at least another good two inches maybe three inches because if I do this that wind just smacks me right in the eyes so when I was riding without it the wind was catching me you know pretty much 
just my whole helmet was just getting nailed by it so that wasn't pleasant at all and at 120 the whistling that was coming through my helmet and uh, er everything it was it just wasn't good at all so I didn't like that one bit so I put this one on there for now in hopes that it will help will it help well it's helping a little bit already so that's something the other thing that I added that you guys can't really see but I, I may show you you may have seen it at the beginning as uh, I also had on my old bike was something called a sit and fly and it was a seat cover it's like a mesh seat cover and I loved that I loved it so much um, so I tried to see if it would fit on here and the Vistrom seat is definitely bigger so I had to uh, snug it up a bit more but it fits sorta sorta kinda sorta kinda fits so fits enough I just had to do some some tightening but it's on there and I can already feel a big difference it does raise me up a little bit which I like as well so it gets me higher which again is awesome because I like the higher I can get the better I like it that's why I like to ride something like an adventure bike even though I don't necessarily consider the Versus a true adventure bike I consider it more as a all-purpose bike you know the V-Strom I would have said was like 70 30 you know 70 street maybe even 60 40 you know when you geared it all up and I think this one here we kind of take 10% and put it on the other side so if I said the V-Strom was 70 30 I'd say this is 80 20 if I thought you could make the V-Strom like 60 40 then I would say you could probably make the Versus 70 30 you know put some good tires on it put some engine guards on it you know she'd be she'd be good enough for most people which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing anyway we're gonna stop for breakfast and uh, we'll continue on once we finish eating because eating is important all right guys we'll be back All right guys, so breakfast is over. It was tasty, good. Now we're gonna do a last little bit of a ride to our starting point and that'll be it for us today. Talking. All right, start this up. I have to say though, and I am impressed with just the brakes. Maybe it's just new brakes in general, but they definitely feel much tighter I guess much more responsive than my V-Strom did and I've you know I've put new brakes on there and everything and never felt quite like this did so these these are really nice I find it definitely I think I like um, I'm indecisive I guess I like and I don't like the weight I'm, I, I guess I just need to get used to it because I find the bike so light in comparison to the 1000 and I know I'm doing a lot of comparison to the 1000 but really it's the bike that I'm used to oh, some grunt there that's good 2000 rpm she, she took it off she's okay all right gonna put my visor down yeah so not 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 horrible at all and you see right now I don't know if you can see it I'm at two two and a half thousand and third uh, she'll have a little bit of th -th 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 when she starts, but not horrible. I definitely do like the gear indicator. It's my first bike with a gear indicator. So that's that's a little bit all right. And even though really instrument panel wise and all that is very, very simple, there are a few things that I really like. And I think the biggest thing that I really like is range. Knowing exactly how much fuel I have left is fantastic. Now, this has way better fuel economy than my old bike, without question. This thing right, right now is push telling me I got, you know, 353, and this is me just kind of fiddling around here in the street, so I'm accelerating and decelerating and all, all that a lot. Whereas, when I was coming back from picking up the bike, you know, I was easily probably ranging 400 for sure. Um, see this get up and go already. 
Yeah, she definitely, once she breaks, I want to say five, she kind of hits her power, which is great. So 5,000, and she definitely has no problems just sitting there at 5,000. You know, 92 right now, kilometers per hour and forth. You know, I'm at between five and 6,000 RPM. She's just, she's happy. Nothing wrong with that. And this is really where you have that. If you need to get up and go, you got some snap right there to really get her. If you had it any lower than that, I do think that sh her takeoff wouldn't be fantastic. You know, but if you can keep it above five, you know, so even remember that when you're going to pass somebody, you don't want to downshift or you, you want to make sure you downshift, I guess not don't downshift. You want to make sure you downshift so that your revs really get in and around close to that 6,000 RPM so you can get that punch where you want to take off, right? So closer you can get it up between six and seven, that's where she really gets that nice little whine where she says, let's go, let's go, let's get her done. Uh, other than that, on this version, this is the LT version. Um, I do have, I don't know if you guys can see it if I kind of spin there, back here. I do have the side bags, which is nice. I do have on the left and right on the handrails, I do have the actual hand guards, which is cool. And uh, not on it right now because they had to order it and it's supposed to be coming soon. I do have uh, a top case for the back, which is also super good. So this is a 2018 model that I got and uh, it had a whopping four kilometers on it. So right now I am pushing about 150 kilometers. I'm not trying to do anything too exciting. Of course, I'm in that uh, wear, wear in mode where I spend the first, you know, couple hundred kilometers, couple thousand or thousand kilometers, for instance, kind of just breaking in. Well, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Break in mode where I'm just kind of breaking the motor in and all the seals and all that kind of stuff just to make sure everything's good so a lot of and off and and off you know just to kind of get that motor doing stuff and yeah that's kind of it uh, highway speeds like I said I had her up to I think the most I got her up to was about 130 in six but she definitely had a lot more oomph to go uh, I think she should do based on other videos that I looked at she should top it she should top out around 190 maybe 200 kilometers an hour but I would say 190 now again the bigger windshield I have and this was a big thing again on my v -Strom, if we were with a big touring windshield I could never get the top speed that they said because I just had so much wind hitting me all right well I'm gonna stop this video right now and uh, that's that's kind of it we're pulling in here we're doing a guide dogs for the blind ride today and uh, that's where our day is going to be. All right, my friends, this is our first look, I guess, give you guys a taste of the 2018 Kawasaki Versus, my first ride. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, so far I'm liking it. More mods coming up for sure. More mods. Mom, 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 mom.